Good evening, you are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. Before the Shura Council, His Excellency the Minister of Tourism stresses that the tourism sector added 3% to the country's GDP in 2018. As one of the biggest projects in the region, the foundation stone is laid for Al Bashair Meat Company in the Wilaya of Tamraith. The Sultanate and Mauritania stress on the importance of dialogue to solve problems faced by the region. And the Sultanate is the guest of honor in Brunei Dar es Salaam Book Fair exhibition in its 20th edition. Those were the headlines now for the news in detail. In order to achieve food security in the Sultanate and provide ample quantities of high quality red meat, the Omani Company for Food Investment marked the celebration to lay the foundation stone of Al Bashair Meat Company in the Wilaya of Thamraith in the Governorate of Bafar. The project, considered one of the biggest of its kind in the region, is expected to start the production in January 2020. It will also provide job opportunities for the Wilayas, citizens, and the nearby Wilayas. The ceremony was presided over by His Excellency Sayyid Mohammed bin Sultan al Busaidi, Minister of State and Governor of Bafar. The Shura Council hosts His Excellency Ahmed bin Nasser al Mahrzi, Minister of Tourism, at its seventh and eighth ordinary sessions of the fourth annual sitting 2018 2019 for the eighth term. 2015-2019. His Excellency the Minister stressed that the tourism sector added to the GDP by 3% in 2018 to reach 912 million Omani Rials. From their side, Shura Council members stressed on the importance of attracting vital investments and facilitating procedures, raising the rate of Omanization and increasing the tourism participation to the country's national economy. The statement included five main themes covering the status of the tourism sector, legislation governing the sector, tourism marketing and promotion, tourism investment and human resources development in the, tour in the tourism sector. The Sultanate and the Islamic Republic of Mauritania stressed on the importance of dialogue and understanding to solve problems faced by the region, looking forward to build more stability, prosperity and security societies. This came during the meeting of His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi bin Abdullah, Minister Responsible for Foreign Affairs, with His Excellency Ismail Wilde Sheikh Ahmed, Mauritanian Foreign Minister, and his accompanied delegation who are currently visiting the Sultanate. During the meeting, both sides discussed different aspects of bilateral relations which gathered both brotherly countries in addition to means of enhancing econ economic and cultural fields and expanding other areas of common interests. Both sides also exchanged viewpoints on various common concern, regional and international issues. The Public Authority for Investment Promotion and Export Development, ITRA, in its eighth edition, organized economic evenings under the theme Together We Achieve Growth. The evenings included four dialogue sessions attracting speakers on the economy and other experts in order to enhance opportunities and directions that serve the commercial business environment in the Sultanate. It also gives the opportunity to meet with representatives of various economic sectors in both public and private sectors to discuss challenges and opportunities related to them and view their experiences on these sectors. The evenings are aimed to find common understanding for challenges and review new thoughts and experiences related to the fourth industrial revolution on far-sighting the future and focusing on a number of aspects that contribute in enhancing the economy. Still to come in our news bulletin. The Public Authority for Radio and Television is implementing radio and television transmission station project in the Governorate of Boraini.
Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Saud Al Busaidi, Minister Responsible for Defense Affairs, was briefed today on the progress of the dialogue sessions and panel discussions of the Fourth Industrial Revolution and Work Future Symposium held by the National Defense College in DC since the 24th of February. The symposium comes as part of the college's plans and with participation from government and private sector agencies. On the onset, the Minister Responsible for Defense Affairs and attendees were briefed on the themes of discussion, the objectives of the symposium and mechanism and stages of implementation of its outcomes in coordination with the concerned authorities. The Minister Responsible for Defense Affairs and attendees then toured among the group panels and were briefed by participants on their efforts to translate knowledge gained into intellectual and methodological achievements. They also discussed the academic and strategic courses besides the benefit from lectures and expert involvement from government agencies and private sector institutions through networking and fruitful discussions. In recognition of deep-rooted relations binding the Sultanate and Brunei and in embodiment of fruitful cooperation in the cultural fields, the Sultanate was selected as the guest of honor at Brunei Dar es Salaam Book Fair in its 20th round. The activities of the exhibition started in the capital, Bandar Sri Bhagwan. The Sultanate is participating in the event showcasing various aspects of the Omani society and Oman's history, culture, and modern intellectual works. The Sultanate's pavilion contained a number of books and other different publications in Arabic and English languages to reflect the comprehensive development being witnessed by the Sultanate in all walks of life. It also included photos showcasing the civilizational and historical landmarks in the Sultanate and some cultural events that attracted many visitors. Oman Air, the Sultanate's national carrier, announced that it has suspended its flights to the Islamic Republic of Pakistan indefinitely. Oman Air said in a statement today that it pays great attention to the safety of passengers and air crews, calling all passengers to contact the local Oman Air offices or the call center for more information and updates about the same. Oman Air operates four daily flights to Pakistan, including Karachi, Islamabad, and Lahore. The Public Authority for Radio and Television is implementing radio and television transmission station project in the Governorate of Al Buremi. The move came within its endeavor to expand audio and visual broadcasting coverage of Sultanate of Oman radio and television through using modern, high-quality broadcasting technology. The project is designed and supervised by Omani cadres. It, ex it is expected to be completed by mid of this year. His Excellency Nasser bin Suleyman al-Sibani, Deputy Chairman of the Public Authority for Radio and Television, and His Excellency Sayyid Ibrahim bin Saeed al Busaidi, Governor of Buremi, visited the project site, accompanied by some officials from the authority. His Excellency the Governor of Buremi said that the construction works are continuing at the site, adding that the station, after completion, will provide high-quality broadcasting service in the area. Under the patronage of His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Umar al marhum Minister of Civil Service, in the presence of His Excellency the Indian Ambassador and other dignitaries, the Omani alumni celebrated the Technical Economic Cooperation Program Day organized by the Indian Embassy. More details in the following report by Abdullah bin Ahmed al rubai Omani alumni celebrated Indian Technical and Economic Cooperation Program ITEC Day organized by the Indian Embassy the gathering saw over 200 Omanis, including officials and professionals, who participated in various training courses in India under ITEC program in the past. His Excellency Manu Mahawar, Ambassador of India to the Sultanate, in his welcoming address, thanked to the International Cooperation Department of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Oman for its support in implementation of the ITEC program in Oman. He said the ITEC program provides a perfect opportunity to Oman for development of its human resources and skills. Training and skills development under India's ITEC program, which contributes directly and significantly to Oman's goals to develop its human resources. 
His Excellency, the Minister of Civil Service, in his speech pointed out about the Omani-Indian relations, which is deep rooted in history, and it stretches back to 5,000 years. He said the governments of Oman and India spared no efforts in augmenting uh, their bilateral ties at the highest levels to achieve mutual interest and bring prosperity and welfare to the peoples of both nations. He commended the ITEC programs and congratulated the alumni. The opportunity to attend uh, uh, a training course in India was a very good uh, for me in a way. It, uh, it helped me to interact with uh, a very senior uh, people when it comes to HR and helped me a lot also to know uh, a very best practices that happened over there. The celebration included Indian traditions, uh, dance and music. Abdullah bin Ahmed al Rubai, Sultanate of Oman Television, Muscat. Now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. Clear skies will prevail over most of the governorates with chances of low clouds and fog late at night and early morning over the coasts of the governorate of Lafar. Moderate to high clouds are expected over the northern governorates, while winds will be southeasterly to easterly light to moderate. Seas will be slight with a maximum wave height of one meter. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. Before the Shura Council, His Excellency the Minister of Tourism stresses that the tourism sector added 3% to the country's GDP in 2018. As one of the biggest projects in the region, the foundation stone is laid for Al Bashayr Meat Company in the Wilaya of Tamrait. The Sultanate and Mauritania stress on the importance of dialogue to solve problems faced by the region. And the Sultanate is the guest of honor in Brunei Darussalam Book Fair exhibition in its 20th edition. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here in the newsroom and the studios. It's good night.